Uh, yeah, I mean, we're always confident in our run game. Um, I mean, sometimes you got to work them a little bit, keep pounding it, and um, I mean, things will open up. And I think that's what we did. And um, I mean, I mean, you saw those last drives we finished up on the field running the ball. So, I mean, that's just a, a testament to our O-line running backs. I mean, it, there's a lot of energy, and um, it's a good time to have that. So we're playing our best ball in November. So that's that's what we want. That's what teams want right now. Play your best ball. And we got three conference games left. Wouldn't want it any other way. How satisfying was it to come out you know, after you guys attained the lead, you know, kind of obvious running situation, and still be able to run the ball kind of at will? Um, I mean, that's just that's what our offense is about. I mean, at least the O-line room. We talk about when we need those yards, when we, we want to put put the ball or the team, or we want to put the game on the O-line's back. And I talked to you guys back in August. I talked to you guys in September and October. I mean, we want to put the games on the O-line's back. And I, I think we've been doing that. And when we do that, we open up the receivers. We open up everything. Last week, we scored the winning touchdown on a pass. I mean, that's just the O-line doing what we need to do. They're, those people are playing the run. They're thinking we're going to run it. But no, we're getting those receivers wide open. So that's just a part of our game plan. You guys are leading. How good does that feel, especially after you guys are one of the two teams that got no votes in the preseason? Um, I mean, that's great. That's awesome. But next week, we got VTech. We got to go 1-0. That's it. We're not thinking ahead. We're not thinking anything like that. We're going 1-0 in the ACC. That's what we got to do. You're, you're a senior. Aaron's a senior. You guys have some seniors. Do you, is that going to be a focus for you this week to make sure that, especially the younger guys, don't start getting, thinking too much about being 4-1 and, and all that stuff? I think a big thing that Narduzzi says a lot is we have a lot of senior leadership. And I think that's important. I mean, we have guys stepping up that people wouldn't have thought have stepped up. And it's important. It's showing it right now in, in November. We have guys stepping up. We have seniors stepping up. And that's big. That's important. The way the defense played in the second half for you guys, does it help you guys build momentum that you know, even when you go, you haven't pumped the ball, that you're getting back on the field pretty quickly and, and keep things rolling? Yeah, and they gave us great field position. I mean, that's that's awesome. It's always it's always nice having having your your defense playing playing so hard. I mean, they played just like we thought they would. I mean, they they've had some rough games, but no, they stepped up. They bowed up in tough times, and that, that's part of great teams. And that's what we need. What do you say about Darren? Good job defense tonight. Uh, he always has a smile on his face. I mean, I think he scored that big touchdown. Was it 75 yards? And he was just breathing. I was just trying to pat him down. He was like, I'm. Trying to catch his breath, but I mean, he he has great leadership. Quadri has great leadership, and they feed off each other. I mean, not many people can rely on two running backs like that. So I mean, they, they feed off each other, and that's that they're they're selfless, and that that's what great teams have.